excuse me. Yes, sir. How could I? Holy shit, what is that smell? Oh, that's probably me. I just came in from the uh, chemical refinery and the, the odor kind of sticks with you, you know? My lord, the stench. It smells like a skunk getting a perm in a septic tank. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. A anyway, is this the municipal waterworks? It sure is. I'm Lloyd Doring, plant supervisor. Great. I'm Doug Gahol, and I'm here from the Federal Water Authority with a tanker full of a chemical to dump into your public drinking water. Sorry, I'm a little deaf in this ear. It sounded like you said you were going to dump chemicals into our drinking water. Oh no, that's not right. <sighs> you had me confused there for a second. No, it's just one specific chemical that I'm here to dump. And now I'm back to being confused. You see, it's my job to make sure the public drinking water is clean and safe. Yep. And uh, I take my job very seriously. I see. So when someone comes in here saying they intend to taint the water, my first instinct is to kick them out in their ass. I can understand that. But because you're from the Federal Water Authority, I'll give you a chance to explain yourself before I decide at which velocity to boot you through the door. I appreciate that. Now, what for chemical are we talking about? Fluoride. Like in the toothpaste. Exactly, like the toothpaste. You see, there's this national group of dentists who want to put this fluoride in the drinking water so they'll be strengthening everybody's tooth enamel and give everyone less cavities. Now, if you'll just direct me to your water so I can start pumping. Now, just hold up there, Pepe Le Pew. My wife just happens to be a dental assistant, so I know a little about fluoride, and your story stinks worse than your sickening chemical musk. Really? How's that? Well, first off, you say dentists hatched this plan to prevent people from getting cavities. Right. But isn't filling cavities a big part of a dentist's business? Yeah, I guess so. So why would dentists come up with a plan to decrease their own business revenue? It makes no sense. I guess I didn't think of that. But let's assume for the sake of argument that this dentist association really does care more about preventing cavities than having a thriving dental business. No dental association has any kind of authority to secretly add chemicals to the public water supply. It means you are medicating people without their knowledge, which is a serious crime. In fact, compulsive medication without a person's consent is a violation of basic human rights as defined by the Nuremberg Code for Human Experimentation. Oh, come on now. Trying to prevent cavities is hardly a crime against humanity. You're still assuming that dental health is the true motive behind fluoridating water. Isn't it? I don't believe it is. And why do you think that? Have you ever had a fluoride treatment at the dentist where they fill those mouthpieces with uh, flavored fluoride gel and put them in your teeth? Yeah. And did they tell you not to swallow the gel? Yeah, that's right. You see, fluoride works by contacting the outside of the tooth enamel, not through the body by drinking it. It would be like if you had a sore muscle on your shoulder and you ate the Bengay instead of rubbing it directly onto the sore muscle. It doesn't work like that. Now try this experiment. Next time you take a drink of water, notice how many of your teeth contact the water. I mean, unless you're purposely rinsing out your mouth, the water barely touches most of your teeth. So what's your point? Brushing regularly with a fluoride toothpaste, which is readily available, is much more beneficial to dental health than drinking this stuff. So why are these people so insistent that we drink fluoride? Well, I don't know. Well, do you know what fluoride does to the body? Nope. Well, fortunately, I know someone who happens to be an expert with chemicals. Hey, Perry, you have a minute? Uh, sure, Lloyd. Be right there. Periodic is one of our chemists who tests our water. He also raises elephants on his farm. Uh, can you guess the name of his farm? Sounds like a setup for a terrible joke. Yeah, that's right. It's the periodic stable of the elephants. Oh. Well, come on. It's kind of cute, isn't it? You got no business making fun of my smell. If you'll be making jokes like that. Uh, fair enough. Hey, Perry, how's it going? So what can I do for you? Oh my god, what is that horrible smell? That would be Doug here. He works at the chemical refinery. Smells like a Klingon beer fart. Yeah, yeah, I know it's bad. Okay. Doug wants to put fluoride in our water. Uh, that would be a perilous proposition. And why is that? <clears throat> fluoride at full strength is a dangerous neurotoxin attacking basic brain function. But even watered down to supposedly safe levels, studies by the National Academy of the Sciences show long-term effects include bone cancer, liver and kidney damage, thyroid disease, and it actually lowers a person's IQ. Uh-huh. I think now we're getting closer to the real reason why so-called government experts want us to drink this fluoride. So you think the government wants to make the public stupider? If I may reiterate, the effects of fluoride on the human neurology aren't limited to decreased intelligence. The Nazis and the Soviets found that by fluoridating the water at their prison camps, the prisoners became docile, subservient, and easier to control. Control. That's what this is about. Making people easy to control. 
Thanks, Perry. Always ready to drop some knowledge for you, Lloyd. So? So what? So where's your water reservoir? I still have a tanker full of fluoride to dump. Didn't you hear anything we just said? Sure did. And you can protest and disagree and spout all your crazy conspiracy theories all you want. It don't matter. I got authorization from the federal government. This is gonna happen. This can't be right. I'm getting my boss. Jerry? Jerry, I need to talk to you. Hey, Lloyd, what's the problem? Jesus, fuck, what is that smell? That's this guy. Smells like a sperm whale vomited in a yak's asshole. Yeah, I get it. I stink. Are you guys done with that? And that's not all that stinks. He's here to put fluoride in our water. So what's the problem? The problem is drinking fluoride is much more dangerous than it is beneficial. And no one is telling the public how dangerous this stuff is. Does he have authorization? Yep, I got your paperwork right here. Let me see. It's legit. Go ahead and start pumping. Well, what the fuck, Jerry? Sorry, Lloyd. The decision's been made. It's out of my hands. Well, I just can't sit by and do nothing. I'm going to start a campaign to inform the public. You know they're just going to call you a conspiracy nut and laugh at you. I don't care. I gotta try. Well, y'all better start soon because in a few months, most people aren't even going to care what you do to them. Thanks to fluoride. Currently, over 60% of America's drinking water supply has been fluoridated, including 45 out of 50 of the nation's largest cities, while most of Europe has rejected fluoridated water due to the health risks. The good news is that water fluoridation does have a vocal and educated opposition. Please check out the Fluoride Action Network to learn more info if you haven't already become too apathetic and docile.